Let's see if we've got Tom Petrovsky from Comsec. Now, Tom, are you with us? I'm with you, Kenny. Excellent, Apologies. excellent stuff. No, it's all good. It's a Monday, mate. So how are we looking as we open in the markets this morning, do you think? Look, um, quite constructive. The futures are telling us that the ASX 200 will be up by around 0.6 of a percent. So not a bad outcome considering that the market is now um, at its best levels in around five months and only 6% away from a record high. And of course, all of that comes at the hands of extraordinary gains over the course of the last week. The lower than expected CPI figures that we have seen in the US have translated to a very significant rally uh, or decline in long-term interest rates. Uh, and that is what's translated to the, these gains where stocks are concerned. So last week, uh, the S&P 500 rose by almost 6% uh, in weekly terms. It was up by 0.9% on Friday. That is meaningful in its own context, Kenny. It means that the, the gains of the previous session, when we saw those big, infl uh, uh, that big falls in inflation, uh, have translated to uh, continued gains where stocks are concerned. So it's a matter of whether or not that continues this week. Uh, some of the more important events on the local front will include the RBA releasing the minutes from its last policy setting meeting when they raised rates by a quarter of a percent. And we've also got wage inflation data on Wednesday and uh, employment figures on Thursday to look forward to. So it's a big week on the local front.